uh, leaving my house right now. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, over there on Fairland. Yeah, I know where it's at. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Alrighty, bye. What's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm actually super excited for y'all to see what I'm gonna be doing today. Today's the day. Um, I know I put on the last video what I was doing. I just didn't wanna tell y'all yet. Get these blinds open. Yeah, baby. Uh-oh, Don's awake. Gotta go. So we're gonna use these today as well. Happy Father's Day to me. Look, somebody's awake. <laughs> Skeleton cases for the, for the GoPro. So what? I was going to be filming off the yeah. GoPro. What, baby? Like a GoPro. No, GoPro. I have all my attachments. For what? It will start it raining. Another thing, I'm gonna have to be holding this GoPro. Damn. Um, it's been like we had this tropical, this tropical storm out in the Gulf, and it brought in a bunch of rain, which we needed. We definitely needed. My yard needed it. it stops you from doing a lot of things, especially like fishing. So, some parts in the areas, you know, where I live is not good when it rains. Um, some some cars. That's why I got a truck. Some cars stay stuck. There's under this passway that we have. And they lose their vehicles. But, you know, that's why you gotta get a truck. All right, guys, I don't know what's going on with this SD card. It's giving me trouble. It keeps um, saying that there's an error. So uh, I didn't get to record a lot. Um, so I'm headed to Academy right now. So I guess before it shut off, you know, we're leaving Texas Park and Wildlife. So what's going on, I don't know if I said it in the video, but I literally just made the exchange. I bit the bullet and I um, I bought another boat. So I'm very excited. We already have a boat, a buddy of mine, me and my buddy for the team, but I just couldn't, you know, this boat, man, it, it was just sitting there just collecting dust and dirt and you know grime and mildew all over the damn seats and and I would pass it every day and I said I need let me just go see so what happened let me just tell you the backstory really quick um, what happened was it was a, a neighbors of my mother-in-law's and I said man that's a nice boat why doesn't he take it? I don't know who the person was so I wrote a letter and I said, hey, I'm interested in your boat. You know, if you're willing to sell it, let me know. You know, I didn't say the price or anything. So he gave me a call back literally the next day. And I was like, wow. And he said, I, well, I wasn't interested in selling the boat. But since you wrote the letter, you know, now I'm actually thinking about it. And I said, cool, man. Let's, you know, let's talk about it. So I went over there to the house the next day. And we talked about the boat. And um, very nice boat. 18-foot Ultra Cat. Um, those were made back in 2005, 2006. Uh, manufactured by uh, Advance Outdoors, which I think they were only open for about a couple years. Um, to my understanding, I'm not too sure. Obviously, I may be wrong, but I mean, it looked like Mayak or Mayak uh, bought the hull because they're older models. Uh, maybe some of the new ones too. They look exactly like it. So it does have a little um, like the V-haul, not the V-haul, but the the tunnel in the middle, which is perfect. Um, so it's an 18 foot boat, uh, has a 90, uh, what am I trying to say here? It has a 2005 mighty horsepower Evan Root E-Tech, uh, motors, motor turned right on, which is great, great news. So of course, you know, um, gonna need some fixing up. All it is is a fixer up boat. I looked into it like, um, Hey, look, I'm, you know, I'm looking at you do another project. So I'm going to get rid of the, the, uh, 
the get me out of here channel. So I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. So what's happening is what, what I really made me decide was I was gonna sell the Miata back to my uh, my uncle and say, hey man, you know, I don't wanna put so much money into this, so much money into the boat, so much money into my truck. So what we're doing is uh, we're gonna sell that back to him. So with the money that I'm gonna, you know, get back from him, I'm gonna put the money into the boat for maintenance. So, which is gonna work out perfect. So nothing has to come out of my pocket. But of course I had to buy the boat. I can't tell you the price. Um, all I can tell you is that it was dirt cheap. Um, and what I mean by dirt cheap, I'm not talking about a couple hundred bucks. I'm, I mean dirt cheap as in, 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 in boat wise, you know, buying a boat. Uh, Cause you, we all know how, how much uh, boats can get expensive, man. They get really expensive. So to me, it was, I couldn't pass up the deal, especially what kind of boat it was. I know for sure, for a fact that this project boat, this boat, what it's gonna be, um, can be a really, really good boat. And if not, you sell it, right? They all have those little sayings is uh, the first time you buy a boat and the first time you sell it is the happiest you're gonna be. But let's get inside here and let's, uh, let's go shopping. All right, guys. Skills. some of those. I'm gonna need a chain. Should I get two? this on there already I can repaint it I, I forgot how it was to own a boat it's been a while it uh it's a lot of money especially you know I was in the miles and I was just wanting to buy everything but uh, the good thing is like I said the um, the guy that I bought the boat from we call him boat guy that's his uh, name in my contact um, list in my phone. We uh, he traded off everything. He, I mean, he um, he gave me all that stuff, man. I, I mean, like I said, the life jackets, the flare gun, all the safety equipment that we needed to be on the boat. Uh, I didn't need to buy any of that, and I, I was already going into it. Uh, I had everything written down on what I was gonna have to buy. So, but all that was already included: fire extinguisher, uh, three gallons of oil. Well, one full one and two half ones so um i mean it's still you know i don't gotta buy oil for a while for a while so that's good and it's the oil that i was going to use the xd100 for the evan route so other than that i mean i saved a bunch of money there uh and as well the uh i was going to buy the transom mount i just because you know just when you're driving down the road you don't want your motor to um be jumping up and down well this one does have a lock in it so the uh, evan roots come with um i know some of them most of them do but the evan root that i have it has a lock position so you'll tilt the, the um motor all the way up and it, it goes into its lock position so that's perfect so i don't have to buy spend 50 bucks i know they're like 50 dollars here but other than that i bought um just a few things uh, a wrench for the uh the prop that yellow uh prop uh wrench i bought um gonna uh, boat buckle which is the product's name I bought those tie that down I don't think he had that uh, let's see what else did I buy um, stable 360 that's you know for obviously we're gonna be using ethanol I do have we do have a Rudy's here if y'all don't know what a Rudy's is a Rudy's is a barbecue place uh, this is the only place in town that you can get non ethanol gas which is good and there's a lot of boats especially during tournaments man it's full there um, but of course if you don't use that use a uh, stable so uh, well, let me show you what that is I'm sure y'all know all y'all of course know what it is um, it's a ethanol treatment uh, solution that you put whenever you fill up your tank um, if not you know um, what it does is, is it's well you can see it there cleans fuel system maximizes fuel economy uh, increases engine power and enhance water removal so whenever you have um, a boat sitting there in the water, I mean, in the boat sitting there and 
and there's ethanol gas in there um, if you drain that gas and you siphon it in, into like a cup you'll see where it turns dirty and the water will actually start separating it's you don't you don't want that you don't want water in your, your gas of course but um, you'll get it you know if it's sitting in there for a while so but that's what that does is it's, it's a stabilizer so it um, it helps uh, the, uh, the the gas whenever you have to use ethanol which obviously most places use ethanol all right what's going on guys you finally get to shoot a video um, actually shooting this video before uh, my buddy Tim heads out we were working on his boat we're putting in the new um, steering cable what are we doing to the boat steering cable we gotta get the rod holders put in what else? Gotta find out why the engine's still beeping on us. Yeah, there's a um, it's making a noise right now, and we gotta figure out if this is gonna if this uh, power lift is gonna work. Found that on there. What? Oh, you found it. The holder. Oh, nice. Cool. So you don't even need that. Perfect. That's the after whenever you're towing. Cool. After we get those few things done, we're, we're set to go. Yeah, so we'll be set to go. Um, this one's already ready for the water. But what I really wanted to show y'all was the other one. Where? By the one? By the one. Hmm. Um, was the other one we've been waiting for is um, my boat. So which is this bad boy right here, we're going to have both of them on the water. Just brought her home yesterday. It's dirty, just bought it just like this as is. Man, I got a steal of a deal. I couldn't pass this boat up, but of course this was going to be a project boat. Um, so I'm actually, like I said in one of my videos, I'm going to get rid of this bad boy right here. I'm going to get rid of this one, um, sell it back to my uncle, and with the money that I'm going to get from that, I'm just going to put it back into this boat. So let me tell you what it needs and tell you what it is and what it's, uh, what kind of boat it is. So this one's going to be um, a 2000, 2006 Ultra Cat XS made by Advanced Outdoors. This one's sitting height the hydro jack plate on a 2005 19 I mean a 2005 saltwater edition 90 horsepower Evan Rude. All the stickers are are gone. It's just been sitting, guys. We turned it on. Everything turned on. It was spitting water. I have the props and everything in here in the garage. Comes with the obviously the trailer. Tires already bought new. Um, it's just dirty. That's it. It's just been sitting. So like I was saying, so it's just it's just real dirty. It's been sitting for about man at least three years. He said uh, it was a guy. I bought it from um, a next door neighbor to my mother in laws, and the boat had been there forever. And I mean, one day I decided. Obviously, we had this one, and I said, man, what do we need? We're gonna start doing tournaments and stuff like that. You know, we may need two boats, and then this one's a more of a a bigger bay boat. But it can still get in shallow water, especially with the jack. But it's not working right now. Um, but you know, I said, man, if I'm gonna stop stop putting money into my Miata, I might as well just sell that, sell that back, and get uh, you know get a boat. So at a good deal. And obviously, I brought this home, which is meaning I got a damn good deal. So take this off. I don't need that. Here's some of the storage in this here. Advanced. Let's show y'all. It's dirty in here too. I mean, you can see it's been sitting there forever. Clean all that up. Should go all the way down to the bottom of there. Right here as well needs to be changed out. Dirty as shit. I need nothing but power wash. Power wash will clean all that up. 
most of the stuff worked navigation lights all that stuff worked probably just you know change out all the fuses fuel tank work uh, the horn doesn't work but of course you don't need that as long as you have a whistle or a, um, a manual horn on your boat this one here is the bottom of the console the uh, tank is built inside under the uh, under the deck man I wish I could put like a six inch one right here a what? the bigger one oh, have oh. some room yeah, yeah bigger hole have some room wires look good um, sure of course I'm gonna have to just rewire a lot of stuff the horn still looks good everything looks good the helms a little rusted here in the bottom but that's all it is man tender love and care we'll get this boat going um, I'm gonna definitely change out this piece of shit and just wrap it with um, you know for now if not I mean the steering wheel is only like 70 bucks just make it look better anyways so that's my, my boat now um, so what I gotta fix is the um, the primer bulb with the hose that shit's weather cracked from it sitting there um, this right here was one of the issues I'm gonna change that out obviously um, also the huh? oh yeah I already got the depth finder we'll add the trolley motor to that um, what I probably end up doing is putting this trolley motor on here and then we're gonna be buying a bigger one for that one um, also so this is not working so I got to figure out why it's not working and right here as you can see right there that's coming up so the t the going the tilt hopefully that should be um quick fix what we got going tim what else do we need with your boat so right here we got a 2007 channel 1902 vision with the 150 on it and i got this on backwards i was about to say that looks a little backwards <laughs> right now we're working on the steering wheel column gears inside of it broke so we're gonna replace that we got a 70 pound thrust on the front we need to upgrade that it's a little weak on this boat it's a 19 foot Kenner with the tunnel hole in it we got storage under all the seats we got storage here storage there and we're gonna build us a box it's gonna go right here for a little extra deck space and some places to put more stuff at. Um, other than that, it just needs a little cleaning. Engine runs good. Pretty quick on the water. We've been marking in it lately. What all have you bought for it? So far, I haven't really upgraded too much stuff. Nothing just the yet. depth finder and the trolling motor. What kind of depth finder are you gonna run? We're gonna run an XDS um, 5 Lawrence. by Lawrence. Nice. And these mosquitoes are bad. <laughs> yeah, the mosquitoes are bad out here, guys. Um, So, yeah, so that's what we're doing now. This boat's been ready to go. We fished on it a uh, handful of times already and caught a lot of fish on it. Um, so we just, you know, basically just learning the waters again because we were using nothing but kayaks, right? We're fishing out of Hobies. Um, we sold Big Yella and uh tim still has his you know obviously uh, you don't want to get rid of the kayaks but decided to go back with boats i've had a boat before which is a 2010 2011 i think blue wave but you know learning the water again and everything obviously it's changed you know i mean obviously the places are still there but you know stuff changes in the water so um new structure different things and you now obviously you forget sometimes too so but you know that's that's where we're at right now um, actually, that's we got rid of that. Get rid of that noise. So, so if you can drop a comment down below and see what that is, we don't know what that is. The oil's filled up. Everything's filled. Everything's good. It's not telling us what it is. Um, I'm not too sure. And it's annoying. Oh, looks good. storages for the battery that's a live well right there 
He's running the Revolution prop four. I think that bad boy runs like three, four hundred dollars. Merc Mercury Optimax 150. But yeah, guys, if you can continue to like, like and subscribe, please subscribe down below. Hit that button for us. Uh, we'll continue to put out this content. Um, also, I'll be putting the, uh, I can put the Instagram link right here, as you'll see, pop up. And we can continue, like I said, uh, making these videos, especially now that we have two boats. So stick with us, guys. I guarantee you're going to like the content.